JRay 501. I'm in Fukushima Diary. Headlines are massive amount of strontium stocked at water purifying system. TEPCO published data of the radiation levels of water purifying system. Because the contaminated water is overflowing, TEPCO is struggling to purify and reuse it to cool down. This is the data of stocked radiation at each section of the system. Though they cover the data of 10.4 and 11.1, and D doesn't mean not detected here. They didn't. They mean it to be didn't measure for some reason. It's written at the bottom of the sheet. The data of strontium was taken on 9.20, and the results are beyond everyone's assumption. So here is a diagram of the facility, and then here are the charts and the measurements of the radioactive concentrations. So we have the strontium 89 and 90 down here in the water treatment. Before entering the desalination facility, it's 2.9 and 2.9 respectively. Then the water entering into the evaporative concentration apparatus is 5.4 and 7.6 but it gets worse. The concentrated wastewater from the evaporative concentration apparatus 9.7 and 8.3. Okay, so that's off the charts. But now, on top of that, there's also iodine-131, cesium-134, cesium-137, uh, Barium-140, uh, LA-140 is lanthanum, it's a synthetic uranium, then cobalt-58, which I couldn't find a lot on that other than that it's a highly toxic carcinogen, and then cobalt-60, <clears throat> uh, that was, uh, that's a radioisotope with beta and gamma radiation. Externally, it causes skin burns, acute radiation sickness. Internally, it's absorbed by the liver, kidneys, and the bones. It causes cancer and death. So let's take a look at that one because I know that one was a big one. So let's see. Before water entering into 7.1, water treated 4.3, water entering the evaporation 1.7 and the end result the concentrated wastewater from the evaporative uh, apparatus is 6.5 so you can come in here and take a look at all these numbers then the article from above top secret has some interesting information in here um, I'm not going to go through it all, but I did want to show you this. Let's see, the evaporated concentration section, what's coming out, strontium 89, 9.7 or 97 billion, strontium 90, 8.5 or 85 billion becquerels. Okay, then I wanted to show you um, this woman. She calls herself Itchy. I-C-H-I-C-A-X-4. This is a photograph of her daughter that she got caught in um, the rain and this is in southeast Michigan. This woman is extremely knowledgeable in what's going on with Fukushima, um, extremely. And so please come in and take a look at this video. Um, she took her daughter to the doctor and the doctor didn't know anything. He had no clue what she was talking about. She had to basically inform him and um, I, I think this was only a day or so after and when she took her daughter in 
this was the burn. The doctor admitted it looked like a burn, but it also looked like there was already an infection going on. Um, so they didn't even know what tests to look for. They didn't know what to do at all. So I haven't gone in here and seen if there's an update. This was on uh, November 18th, but um, I, I have been going back in and looking at some of her videos because she she's on it. She knows what's going on with all this stuff much more than I do. I don't really know that many people that know as much as her regarding this. So isn't it just lucky for her that she does know so much? But here we are. You know, this was after a rain. I mean, this is in the United States, and everybody's saying, well, where can that be coming from? That can't be coming from Fukushima. <laughs> With the statistics that I just gave you, and the fact that TEPCO is now uh, doing, doing their cleanup, they're, they're actually incinerating everything. So we're getting, we're getting all that back up in the atmosphere. And I was trying to figure out why they would burn it. Why would, why would the government even let them burn it? Um, but then I read that TEPCO is making a grip of money off of the cleanup. So obviously they really don't care. In fact, um, the, the Japanese government, you know, it's just like any other government. They, they're not telling their citizens anything, nothing, you know, not a thing. In fact, they just had some, oh, some um, event, I think it was in Tokyo, where they had people running races and, you know, they, they've got this full-on exposure going on over there. It's in, it's in Tokyo. That's why I've been going into Fukushima Diary because this gentleman is from Japan. So he would know much better than, you know, <laughs> than the government because um, he's doing massive amounts of research and hooking up with other people that are doing independent studies. So, as always, um, I just wanted to put this out here and, uh, you know, we need to start working together again here on this. We've been all been so distracted by everything else that's going on. I mean, if there isn't something getting ready to crash down from the sky or, or if it's not the monetary system, if it's not war, if it's not flooding in the United States. I mean, it's like one thing after another, but this is, this is serious. This is serious stuff. I don't think this is, has anything to do with any event that's happening uh, that we don't know about in the United States. I don't believe that. I believe that these isotopes are recirculating around the globe. That's just my, that's just my feeling about it from the research I did on Chernobyl. Anyway, one ten or the other. So as always, I will leave the links and God bless.